everyone, I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. Every day I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. If God called out to you, how would you respond? Well, There's an example for us in the Bible of someone who experienced that very situation. Moses was out in the wilderness pasturing the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, and he led that flock up on Mount Horeb. And he saw something amazing. A bush was burning with fire, yet the bush was not consumed. So how did Moses respond? Well, let's look, beginning in Exodus 3, verse 3. So Moses said, I must turn aside now and see this marvelous sight, why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Am. And then God goes on to say to Moses, Now behold, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me. Furthermore, I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians are oppressing them. Therefore, come now, and I will send you to Pharaoh, so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. I love, first of all, that Moses turned aside to look. Then, when God called out to him by name, Moses responded with three words, Here I am. Oh, friend, this is such a great lesson for us to learn. When God speaks to you, respond by saying, Here I am. You may be wondering, well, where and when can I hear God call out to me? I have such great news today. You can hear him speak anytime, calling out to you in his word, for the Bible is the word of God. In Hebrews 4.12, we see that the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. In 2 Peter 1.21, we see that no prophecy was ever made by an act of human will. But men moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. You see, my friends, the bush is always burning and God is speaking in the Bible. It is the word of God. He calls to us from his word and his voice is irresistible. With Moses, God called out his name. It's important for us to understand that God is personal. And when he speaks in his word, he is speaking to you and to me. So, how can we hear God speak in His Word? Well, first, we must have a relationship with God. We need to ask Jesus into our lives and be born again spiritually. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. The Holy Spirit then lives in us and will teach us and speak to us from God's Word. Then we need to open the pages of God's Word. It's important to have a Bible. You can easily understand, and there are many great translations available today, like the New Living Translation, the New American Standard Bible, the New International Version, the English Standard Version, and the New King James Version. When you read the Bible, it's important to read it as God's love letter to you. It's His Word for you. I think one of the greatest things you can do when you read the Bible is to personalize Scripture. For example, in Psalm 23, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. You can even pray the words, Lord, you are my shepherd. You will notice as you read God's Word that certain verses will become very significant to you and important to you and will even minister to your heart. Oh, dear friend, God is calling out to you from his word. Respond to him. Talk with him. Draw near to him. So today, dear friend, 
I encourage you to remember Moses and how he responded to God and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, thank you for these words in Exodus to help us learn from the example of Moses to turn aside, to look to you and to respond when you call out to us with your word. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's my quiet time. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.